Hey guys, Chris from Versus 3D at 3D Printer Canada once again. And today I'm just doing kind of a little introduction. Um, so we had a lot of people asking, we have a lot of people emailing into the store asking uh, the differences between the Creality Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. So in the Ender 3 unboxing and build video, I actually did a comparison at the end of the video. But what we're going to do is we're just going to grab that and put it here. So stay tuned. All right, and here we are with the comparison part of this awesome video. That's probably already too long, but whatever. You might as well have a few more minutes, right? Anyway, so we're gonna compare the standard Ender 3 to the Ender 3 Pro. So there's really only a few differences. Um, to be quite honest, I was a little surprised, but let's go through them. So first difference is the Y-axis runs on the Ender 3 on a 2040 extrusion, and on the Ender 3 Pro, it's a 4040. There is a nicer uh, belt tensioner on the Ender 3 Pro. It's nice but for me, it wasn't like a deal breaker. Um, number two, the Ender 3 Standard Edition has a standard Creality power supply, 24 volt power supply. The Special Edition that we carry here in the store is, uh, has an upgraded power supply already. It's the Meanwell power supply. That is what the Ender 3 Pro has. So the Ender 3 Pro and our Special Edition both have the same power supply. The third option, or the third upgrade, is the build surface. So the Ender 3 Pro has, uh, the original version has um, the build tack surface adhered to the, the build plate already. The newer versions do come with the build tack that's a very hard sheet and it does clip, so it's easily changeable. Um, the Ender 3 Pro has this magnetic build surface it's build tack same as the other one and i have to say after printing with this a little bit um i wasn't really super impressed with it it's very thick it doesn't when the bed gets hot it doesn't really lay flat like it needs to and it was pretty smelly so i resin print at home quite a bit and this was much smellier than resin printing and even abs printing if you want to be honest so that was not a big selling point for me. Um, the only other difference is they inverted the control box. So on the original version, the fan cutout is in the top, which was kind of a flaw in the design, I guess. They didn't really think about it. So most people print out little hood scoops or whatever to keep anything from going in the fan. On the Ender 3 Pro, they did invert it. So the fan sucks in from the bottom now. And then you'll see that the SD card slot and the USB slot are different. Um, that's really it. So if you want to talk bang for your buck, in my personal opinion, I would spend my extra $100 on filament. In other news, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Apparently, YouTube changed some of their stuff. And if you don't ring the bell on, on the thing, you might not get notified when we release new videos anymore. It might not even show up in your feed. It happened to me a couple times with things that I actually wait for. So don't forget to do that. And also leave a comment down in the thing down there. And this is Chris from Versus 3D at 3D Printed Canada. And you guys have a good day.